politics, commentary, entertainment, sports, news, and opinion. Now, here is Steve Malzberg. All right, folks, welcome back. Time for the Molesburg panel. And joining us once again, co-host of Steel and Unger on Sirius XM, Rick Unger, and columnist for Breitbart.com and American Thinker, C. Edmund Wright. And gentlemen, uh, let's start with uh, you, uh, Rick, and ask you um, to speculate like everybody else is speculating. I mean, any way you look at it, this is just uh, horrifically <laughs> frightening it's news. It's horrible. It's, it's getting harder and harder to believe that it was some sort of an accident, I think, uh, we're going to find out it was a surface-to-air missile, and I suspect we're going to find out it was fired by Russian separatists who may have made a mistake and thought it was a Ukrainian airline and shot down a Malaysian airline. The thing is, if there were, in fact, 23 Americans on that plane, as has been reported, uh, that turns this into an entirely different thing. And as I said to you before we went on, Steve, if you want to see a liberal turn into a hawk, you're going to see it if that was the case. What about it, Edmund? Uh, I mean, I agree pretty much with all of that. And I will say that uh, most of these flights from Amsterdam uh, are generally are connecting from a lot of them are, you know, picking up passengers from New York and Atlanta. So chances are there were some Americans on that flight, yeah. um, you know, going to Kuala Lumpur. Uh, the other thing I'd say is I'm reminded of what happened in 1939 in Poland. Um, you know, there was uh, there were some uh, violence blamed on the Polish nationals, and it was used as an excuse by, you know, the yeah. Germans to move in and invade Poland at the beginning of World War II. Now, I'm, I'm a long way from saying that's what happened here, but I got to tell you, it's, it's about the same part of the world, uh, 75 years since that happened. Uh, does anyone really think Putin is potentially above that? I mean, I don't know if we'll ever prove it, but I don't well, think you, anyone you know, will you, ever you may prove that. You may not even have to go that far to make the connection, simply because you've got to ask the question, if this was a surface-to-air missile that could shoot down a plane at 33,000 feet, that's a pretty intense weapon. And that weapon had to come from somewhere, and I think we all know where it may have come from. And that would be Russia? Russia. Yeah, well, there's no doubt. It, it, like I said earlier, if it was the, uh, the Russian separatists or if it was a, a, a Russian soldier or defense person who pushed the wrong button or the right button to be on by, by accident or not, uh, either way, it, it, it traces back to Russia. Yeah. Right, Edmund? I mean, no, they, they, these separatists got, the, if it was a Russian missile and they're the Russian separatists, they got it from Russia. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, that's pretty much, I mean, I guess there could be a fluke occurrence. To, to make you know something else be the result of that, but yeah, obviously it points right back to Russia, and again, it, they're going to have a hard time, I think, convincing people that it was an accident. Uh, you know, a lot depends on what Russia does from now on, as far as how people will view this. I'm not, I'm not sure we should care if, they, if, if we do believe it was an accident. You know, when you play that game, when you start fire, firing missiles at, at commercial yeah. aircraft. There's no accident there. You may have not hit the one that you intended, but you intended to kill some innocent people. Right, Rick, I'm not, I'm not going after you here, believe me, because because uh, we're all in this together and we're all outraged at what happened, uh, uh, and especially with Americans uh, reportedly on board. But you say turn this liberal into a hawk. How so? I mean, uh, first of all, we, we understand that, that Putin and Obama already spoke about this. That was the initial report. They haven't, unless that was right. erroneous, they spoke. It was originally about the sanctions, and Putin informed him of what happened. Then the president comes out, and in 30 seconds of talking about it, says, it looks like we have what's going to be a, a, a tragedy. And I don't know what that means exactly, but it sounds like he got an explanation from Putin. So, I, I mean, is the president going to go well, you know, actually, military actually, on us? Well, actually, what I heard was that at the end of the conversation, as you just said, uh, Putin did inform him that it had taken place. I suspect the president, correctly, isn't going to say much until he has the facts. Right now, you can be sure that we are go sifting through the satellite images. We have a satellite parked over that region of the world 24 hours a day. We're going to be able to see uh, the trail if there was a missile that was fired at this plane, and I think that's what they'll see. I think the president's going to be smart. Now, you ask, do we go military on it? Look. Where I always draw the line when it comes to, I'm, I'm a big believer in international restraint, but you shoot down Americans, somebody's got to pay the price for that. And whatever it takes, we need to uh, bring those who, who were responsible either to justice or to their end. All right, I, I, I do have a, a report here as uh, we have a developing news on this story. Uh, according to foxnews.com, uh, um, the um, uh, advisor to Ukraine's interior minister, 
uh, said that the, uh, the uh, Boeing 777 was shot down at a cruising altitude of about 35 miles from the border. Uh, he said all 280 passengers of 15 crew members were killed. A Reuters correspondent uh, saw uh, uh, burning wreckage and bodies strewn across a nine-mile debris field. Uh, and there's, uh, there's uh, Ralph Peters, uh, our friend who works, of course, uh, for Fox as their strategic analyst, said it wasn't the separatists, although Russia will try to blame them or blame the Ukrainians. Edmund? What's he basing on? Well, uh, I guess opinion at this point. Yeah, yeah. I mean, as far as, uh, yeah, 295 people, of course, no one walks away from this. Uh, so, of course, they're all dead. Uh, you know, it's terrible tragedy. You know, I'm interested why they, they would say it's Russian but not Russian separatist. Uh, again, some people know a lot more than I do about that part of the world. Well, that's 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 the opinion. That's the opinion of Ralph Peters. That wasn't the Ukrainian uh, spokesperson. It, it should be noted. It should be noted. And, and this is, again, you have to call this speculation. But some quality sources have indicated that one of the top generals of the separatists has taken responsibility for it and said it was a mistake. They thought they were firing at a Ukrainian plane. Again, still speculation, even though the sources seem pretty good. Uh, I, I think it might be a little bit too soon for Peters to suggest. Well, one of the leaders of the separatist uh, gentlemen uh, posted on the equivalent of the Russian Facebook uh, it, before, right before this actually occurred, something to the effect of, we've warned you not to fly into our skies. Now, some are saying that that might have been a response to the downing of a mili Ukrainian military cargo plane on, for, on Monday, and that this was a, a coincidence, but... Again, speculation will, 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 will continue on this. Uh, but, but uh, Edmund, if, if this was, you know, if, if this can be pinned on somebody, uh, uh, if Russia or the separatists, how does the U.S. react if there are 20 dead Americans? Wow. That's, boy, that, that is above my pay grade. You know, let's, let's just hope we're not sending Eric Holder to get to the bottom of it, you know, because we never will. <laughs> let's let's uh, not go there. This is a serious conversation. <laughs> we go get the people who did it. Well, That's what we do. And I don't care how we do it, right. but we go get them. All right. Well, let's, let, let's uh, leave it there. And when we come back, um, I, I do want to uh, uh, not bring in Eric Holden necessarily, but I want you all to See hear you? something that uh, was said by uh, Jonathan Turley yesterday, testifying before Congress about the uh, feasibility of the Boehner lawsuit. Uh, and again, we'll keep you updated throughout the show on the latest of the Malaysia flight crashing uh, uh, on the Ukrainian border with 295 people on board, including reportedly over 20 Americans. Stay tuned for part two of the Malzberg panel coming up right here on the Steve Malzberg Show.